Whilst the teachers and the principal of Sentamu Academy saw no difficulty in assigning children as young as 11 years old with the task of exploring issues of pornography, alert parents, armed with good common sense, thankfully did. There was no question in their minds of how totally inappropriate this educational material is for school children of any age. It was naive in the extreme to think that children wouldn't use the internet to look up these terms. The school's gross carelessness has risked exposing pupils in their care to hardcore pornography. That is what has happened. It may have apologised, but frankly, that was the very least it could do for this grossly irresponsible act. The principal has promised to ensure all materials are fully age appropriate. But what does that mean? When is hardcore pornography an age appropriate topic for school children at all? The answer, of course, is that it isn't. The question in the minds of most people is this. Why were children being taught this material in the first place? There's simply no need for it and much to be said against it. The law certainly doesn't require it and it is disingenuous of the principal to intimate that it was. Statutory guidance does require, however, that parents are consulted about relationships and sex education. In this case, it seems that parents were left completely in the dark, which is a serious dereliction of duty on the part of the academy. However, the guidance recommends that by the end of secondary school, students are taught about the impact of viewing harmful content and that pornography's distorted picture of sexual behaviour is highly damaging. But what it doesn't do is to encourage children to start teaching it to their students. The Academy's own sex and relationships policy states, and this is Church of England, children, young people, should be made aware of the way in which advertising and the media and pornography influences their views about sexuality. Why then were these young children being put at risk of having their own views about sexuality influenced by such pornography? The Academy needs to stop listening to the self-appointed experts at the Sex Education Forum. And they need to start paying a lot more attention to the local parents, to the well-being of the children in their care, and to its legal duties.